In order to use Outlook offline with an Exchange account, we need to enable the cached Exchange mode. When that's done, Outlook creates not only the offline OST folder, but also a copy of the address book. The address book is necessary to utilize many of Outlook's services. An offline address book, which is often referred to as an OAB, is created as part of the cached exchange mode configuration and is updated as part of the synchronization process. Without getting into too much detail, when and how often this occurs is up to the exchange server, not Outlook. But it's usually at least once a day. If we're getting ready to hit the road, and no, we may not be able to connect in the near future, but do need to be able to work with the latest address book information, we may want to manually update the offline address book. Since the address book is what holds information about people, such as email addresses, that Outlook requires in order to send an email message and display information about the user, it's important for it to be available and current. By using the offline address book, Outlook does not have to connect to Exchange in order to resolve names or open records. That's a critical feature when working offline, but it can actually also help when we're online because it reduces network traffic and improves the performance of Outlook. The command for this is on the Send and Receive tab in the Send and Receive group in the Send Receive Groups option. When we display the dropdown from Send Receive Groups and go almost all the way at the bottom, we can see an option to download the address book. If we give that a click or a tap, a small window displays. Now we shouldn't have to configure anything here because most of us only have one address book. We're going to download changes since the last send and receive. And then technically we could choose the address book, but like I said, we probably only have one. So all we need to do is click or tap OK. We might see the Outlook send and receive progress box as it does its thing. It's just like downloading email. Once that's complete, that window will go away and we now have the current offline address book downloaded. If you prefer another method, we also can do this by accessing the Backstage from the File tab. If we display the Account Settings dropdown, the ability to download the address book is near the bottom of this option as well, and it works exactly the same way. Since we've already done that, we'll go ahead and close the Backstage and just get back to Outlook. Depending on the size of the address book, it may be a quick or somewhat more lengthy process to actually download it, but it's one that is not only necessary for offline work, but also to optimize online work as well.